The Army laid the foundations of their tournament victory with a win over the Navy on Tuesday. Shemma Wright among the early wickets to peg the dark blues back. The home side did, however, manage to push the scoreboard along, capitalising on any wayward Army bowling. But the red shirts kept a check on the run rate. Connie Kant trapping Navy skipper Kay Whitson LBW. There was some hard hitting lower down the order. Number nine, Fisha Green dispatching a loose delivery to the cover boundary and her side finishing on 132 for seven from 40 overs. The Army lost Georgie Kant first ball, but Georgina Dean got on with the task at hand, smashing this huge six over mid wicket off the bowling of Abby Malcolm and then surviving a near miss soon after. It didn't take Dean long to reach 50 though, nailing this delivery from Amanda Toby Thorpe to the long off boundary and raising her bat to mark the half century. Dean was eventually dismissed for 58 from just 33 balls. The Army reached their revised total of 111 due to rain with just two wickets down. The next day, the RAF chose to bat after winning the toss in bright sunshine and were soon in big trouble thanks to catches like this from Connie Kant. Veteran all-rounder Amanda Popgeeter kept things tight at the other end and got in the wickets too. And Popgeeter even made sure to join in with the one-handed fun, taking this cotton ball chance off Ellie St. Ledger Chambers. Nine for two became 17 for four and then 24 for seven. Opening bowler Abby Sullivan did much of the damage, taking four for five off just seven overs a performance that would later give her player of the match. The Red Shirts had just 28 to chase, which they did with ease for the loss of no wickets and ensuring victory in the tournament. The silverware adds to their win in the T20 competition at Arundel last month. Simon Hunter, Forces News, Portsmouth. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.